It's been a while since I've seen your face Gotta say that I'm happy to see you come around my place Now, I think we talked about it And I think I know what's coming up next Let's put our minds away and let our hormones do the rest Does it seem obscene? Does it seem like a bad thing? Well, if it is, I'm sorry, miss, but you know I'm just 19 Whatever it is, if it's the beginning, the middle, the end it's important to realize where you are, okay? So, one of the ways you can do that is ask yourself a question. Am I the one chasing, pursuing this person, or are they chasing or pursuing me? Okay? That's a really important question to ask yourself. Especially in the beginning of a relationship. And that's what right now what I want to talk about the most. Um, because as soon as you get yourself into a relationship... A lot of that stuff, um, a lot of these games, they play out, okay? They, you don't need them anymore, okay? You, you get to be yourself. So, um, so in the beginning of a relationship, ask yourself, am I, am I pursuing her or is she pursuing me, okay? And I want you to, to just to look at this, and this is a balance of power uh, teeter-totter, okay, that I, that I like to have here, okay? So we've got this, this little delicate balance between, between two people. It's not always going to be, in fact, a lot of times it's never exactly the same. It's typically one person who has a little bit more power than the other person, okay? But it's important for this to sort of move back and forth, okay? So when you can understand where you are, if you're the person down here and you have less power, or you're the person up here with more power, um, if you're down here, which I think a lot of guys are, because um, it's just the natural uh, course of any kind of relationship is oftentimes men have to be the ones pursuing uh, women. And that's just a, a natural, normal thing for our society to, uh, to do. So if you're down here, okay, it's important that we, we move you here, okay? We teeter-totter it back and forth. And I'm going to talk about how to do that and why it's important to do that. Okay, so I want to throw a scenario out at you guys, is that we have two people, okay? You're probably wondering why I have my hands here. But we have two people, okay? We have, uh, let's say this is a woman, and this is a guy. So let's say you're down here. You guys both like each other, but you're the one pursuing her, okay? You're, you're trying to get her attention. Um, you're calling her, you're text messaging her, okay? She knows that you guys both like each other, but she can recognize that you are really pursuing because you're down here, okay? So what is a problem with that? Well, a problem with that is with attraction, attraction is an emotional response, remember? And, uh, and, and we want to trigger an emotional response. We want to get her to feel these, these feelings, okay? And if she knows... If she can predict uh, who, what we're going to do, if she thinks that she knows us, it's going to make her have less of an emo emotional response versus the, the power of not knowing, okay? So, so let me just explain that for a second. Is when you, when you have this, this balance uh, right, okay, she's, she's going to know that you like her but maybe, maybe you don't feel the same way that she does, okay? Maybe she likes you more. Maybe she feels like she's really into you, and she doesn't know if you're as into her as she is because you're not making it entirely clear, right? And that's, and that's the power thing. Maybe you're down here, and you are making it really, really clear. Well, you've got to be careful because vulnerability um, stems from this whole whole idea of not knowing that's a, a big vulnerability um and vulnerability moves itself into a fatuation uh to attraction and to love a lot oftentimes it's those those moments where we're not texting them we we don't talk to them for a couple days and we're sitting there wondering if they're thinking about us as much as we're thinking about them okay so 
So this, 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 this power balance, okay? That's something that I want you to think about. If you're down here, then we gotta find a way. If you're, excuse me, if you're uh, if you're down here, we gotta find a way for you to come up. Okay, we gotta we gotta change this. We gotta tilt this little teeter totter in your direction. Okay, so how do we do that? There's a lot of ways um, that we can do that, and it's and it's great. Okay, text messaging. Text messaging can really work for you, and it can work against you. So be careful with it. Okay. Um, I like. I have a one rule of thumb: is if you want to talk about something important, don't do it through text messaging. You know, a lot of I know a lot of women feel, uh, and, and men. I feel like we feel like it's less. It's it's easier to communicate through um, texting some something because it's less personal. It's like I. It's not coming from my mouth, you know. But there's a problem with with talking about something really important because. Um, it can get misinterpreted really, really easily. And why that is, if you, if you can't understand that right away, is is that when I get a text message from somebody, I have a perception of how this text message sounds, how it is coming out of their mouth. It's almost like a little voice in my head says it coming out of their lips, okay? But that little voice is very, very uh, manipulated by how I think about that person, okay? So, you know, and, or, and how I think they think they feel about me. And if, and if I'm wrong about that, then I'm gonna misinterpret their text message, so be careful. But, you can also use this to your advantage. You really can, okay? It's a great tool, I love using it, okay? So, um, a couple different things that you can do. If you're texting somebody and, and you have a pretty normal pattern of text messaging. So you get a text message and five, 10 minutes later you text back and five, 10 minutes later they text back, okay? One thing you can do, a uh, small, small thing is when you get a text message, go do something. Go go do something active or, or just take your mind off of it and don't text for a couple hours. Again, if you're down here and you guys are texting, if you, we want to tilt this back up, so doing something to them that um, makes you a little bit unpredictable, okay? So you guys are have this normal pattern, this normal routine of text messaging. Well, all of a sudden now you're not texting her back, and she's gonna wonder why. Okay, she's gonna think, okay, why is he doing that? I thought he was here. Maybe I'm wrong. Now I'm thinking about him. Right. Now, now she's starting to, now her, her perception is starting to shift a little bit, okay? Unpredictability is fucking awesome, you guys. Use it. Use it to your advantage. Um, 